I'm inside this Airbnb's bathhouse. There is a sauna, a cold plunge pool over there, a relaxation loft above me. I'm just in the bathhouse and this place is incredible. Let's go check this place out. this bathhouse 500 square feet of living space this is the definition of luxury if you need your own spa this is the place to do it sauna right there cold plunge and shower behind me there's a loft up there whenever you first walk in though this is your open space there's some seating bench seating uh, to relax and get ready as your sauna is heating up. They have a shelf over here for some tea, some essential oils to really set the mood in here. And whenever your sauna is ready, uh, it's so easy. You can just set the temperature right here and then you hop right in and enjoy your sauna. This is so cool. I had to try it myself. I've actually never uh, been in a sauna before. So uh, they made it sound like it's just as easy as turning this button on. 230 degrees, that is nuts. I don't even know what a correct temperature is, but we'll leave it at 220. Uh, and I was told to hydrate because you sweat. How much water do I pour in here? getting a little steamy. And then whenever you're done with that, you go over to the cold plunge. Now cold plunge is really, really fun. <laughs> oh, this is the coldest I have ever been in my life. There's also a shower over there for the cold plunge. Uh, it's just a really, really nice setup. And then whenever you're done with everything, you can relax up in the loft. You can climb this ladder. This is the relaxation loft. There is a couch and a couple chairs up here. I mean, this is its own tiny house. Basically, it has everything you need. And there's also a bathroom in here as well if you need that. So this is the bathhouse. Today, we are staying here at the Pine House Cabin. Right here behind me, it is 924 square feet of living space. The interior design is Scandinavian inspired. It is beautiful, it's bright. There's floor to ceiling windows all throughout. It can sleep up to six guests, which is awesome. The cabin is this black board and batten exterior. This front is where all your parking is. And if you bring an electric car, there is an electric charger right over there. And you can just walk right up to uh, your front door right here and walk inside. When you first walk inside, this is the definition of peaceful and relaxation. The music you just heard was the music that they're playing whenever you first walk in, and it enhanced my first impressions tremendously. I'm gonna have to steal that idea for my own tiny house cabin, playing some music uh, for the guests whenever they walk in. I love that detail, and I love all the other details they have spread throughout. This first area is your dining room and your kitchen space. There are some bedrooms behind me, we'll get to that in a second, but this is your open area. And then in front of me is your living room option, windows everywhere, it's just beautiful. But first, let's explore the kitchen. This kitchen takes up this entire back wall. You got the black countertop with the black wood cabinets underneath. Same with the top, there's a lot of storage here and some open floating shelves, which is nice. The first thing over here is your refrigerator hidden behind these cabinets. Then they leave some kombucha here for you. And I surprisingly liked it. I've always avoided it because I thought it'd be really gross. It tastes pretty good. Anyway, uh, you got your coffee station right here, coffee supplies, and then you have your stove top right here for cooking. There are four total. And then a little oven down here. It doesn't take up a lot of space at all, which is really nice. And then over here, you got your pantry and more cabinets, and uh, they just have everything you need with this kitchen. It's black, and it's definitely fitting with a Scandinavian design. And then, of course, you'll be eating here at the dining table in front of me. Sandwich review. Today, we're gonna be reviewing a pesto chicken sandwich this looks incredible oh yes that looks good gluten-free bread uh, from Stella's Wow <laughs> man that is a 10 out of 10 I'm not lying even the gluten-free bread is really good Wow Wow I wish I had two of them this fireplace is really really cool it is by more so and they even leave some wood here for you and then we can enter into the living room this living room space is the most beautiful area in this cabin if you ask me 
huge window right here to my right. Great views from it, amazing natural light. A couple seating options here, and then your couch right here in front of me. It is really comfortable. Frame TV up against this wall. You got all the luxuries here. You gotta watch movies. Console with games in there. Speaking of games, I just got this one, brand new Brew. If you guys played it, let me know what you think of this game. I'm a lover of board games, so I just wanted to include this and show you guys. <laughs> Huge windows, floor to ceiling right here on the left. This is a sliding door that leads out to your deck as well. Plenty of lighting in here. And then back here through this hallway is a couple bedrooms. Back here is your bedroom, queen size bed here in the middle. Some really nice lighting on both sides uh, that I can flip on and off. And then over here you have a vanity with a mirror. You can set your stuff here. Plenty of space for your luggage. There's two windows in here and there's your own split unit. And then right next to this, there is a bathroom, vanity, toilet right here in the middle and your tiled shower. The floor is heated, which is amazing. And this is just a modern clean bathroom. Heading back around to the front door where we entered at is your other two bedrooms. This first one is the fun one. It's the bunk room. You got bunk beds here, custom built metal ladder here and you got the window over here. Pretty small space, definitely for the kids, or you know, if you have all adults, they could definitely fit here as well, but it's just a little bit smaller of a bedroom. The main bedroom is next. This is your main bedroom. It is a lot more spacious, and you got your queen size bed here in the middle. Very nice neutral bedding. The vanity, same as the other bedroom right here. The full length mirror is nice, and to have a couple options to set your stuff at, very Scandinavian. Split unit in here as well to control your own temperature, and it's just very nice to have a spacious, clean uh, bedroom. No distractions, but the nice one about this is the attached bathroom. This bathroom is a lot larger than the first one. Uh, you got your vanity over here, same style mirror. I really, really like these. Your toilet, the floors in here are also heated. I love that feature. You can set the temperature with this dial right here. And then there's also a washer and dryer in here as well. And then the best part, if you ask me, is this walk-in uh, tiled shower. Glass door, you walk in. Uh, I love the matte gray tiling all around. You cannot go wrong with this bathroom. So that's everything in here. Let's head out on the back deck. I could not ask for a better deck space than back here. So fun and spacious. There is 1,000 square feet of deck space back here. Believe it or not, it is huge. This section right here, uh, nice seating options out here with a gas fireplace, so easy to start right up. And you got beautiful views of the nature all around. Uh, that's a really nice spot. And then way over here, uh, you got more options, a dining table out here. There is a hot tub back there, a huge hot tub, I should say. And then we can walk down uh, these steps down here and explore the rest of the property. There is a wood fire pit down there if that's more your style so there's plenty of options pretty unique and thank you guys for watching i'll see you next week in another airbnb tour